go all the way back to 1996 when um, I sort of hit a low point in my life. Uh, I'd been married for 20 years. My wife wanted a divorce. I had one son in college. I had one son in high school. Our finances were in shambles. I was wondering how I was going to pay for the college education of my two sons. I was so uh, down and uh, and I wasn't used to praying, but I reached out to God and I said, God help me because I no longer can help myself. And he did. He did it in, a, in an indelible way that made me realize that he knew who I was. And so um, I just gave myself to the Lord. I said, God, I'm yours. Lead me and I'll follow. And he led me to a homeless ministry. He leadeth me, O oh, blessed thoughts, O oh, words with heavenly comfort fraught. Whate'er I do, where'er I be, still tis God's hand that leadeth me. Of deepest blue, sometimes where Eden's flowers bloom by waters. Well, we have we have a group of now 13 churches that uh, participate in the ministry. Uh, we will feed this morning a probably close to 350 people. Uh, that's kind of normal. So it's about. Close to 3,000 a month that we meals that we serve. Um, I feel like I'm an unlikely ambassador because I just don't have the uh, the skill set that you would think a person would need for this kind of ministry. Uh, I'm not a natural born leader. Uh, I don't have good organizational skills. I don't have good social skills. I don't. I have some of the things that you would think a person would need for this kind of ministry. I think the most valuable lesson that I've learned in, in this whole experience is the difference between a volunteer and a servant. When you're a volunteer, you're, you're in control. You set the time that you're going to do your service, your place, you check in, you check out, you check it off your to-do list, and you're more or less done. And when you're a servant, uh, you're no longer in control. God is in control. So you no longer have control over your time, where you're going to be, and it's, it's just a whole different thing. As long as I keep a person at arm's length, I can uh, do volunteer work. But as soon as I allow them to uh, as soon as I allow myself to engage in their lives, is when I bring that barrier down and get engaged in their lives, then I find that I'm a servant. <laughs>